Hello children. Today we will learn about fractions. It's easy to count whole things like a cake, two apples or three chapatis. What if we have a part of each? How do we count it then? To understand this in detail, let us learn about fractions. What is a part of a whole called? They are called fractions. Fractions are part of a whole. I am sure you must be using fractions in your everyday life. What if there is one apple and two friends to share? But the question is how do we share? Watch the story first and then think of an answer. Mom gave me one whole apple and it's all for me. Mom said, You both share the apple. So you have to give me half an apple. Okay, take this. The pieces must be cut equally. These two pieces are not equal. Please be fair. This is not fair sharing. Pieces should be cut equally for each of you. Cut the apple into two halves like this. One half apple and one half apple make one whole apple. Half and half is one. Half plus half is equal to one. Now both the parts are equal. So in fractions too, sharing will always be equal. I am sure you must be having similar stories to share. So half means one out of two equal parts. One third means one out of three equal parts. And one fourth means one out of four equal parts. Like this, we use fractions in our everyday life. When we eat half an apple or one third a cake or when we say quarter past one or one fifth a sheet or one sixth of a chocolate bar. Have you observed all the parts of the holes were equal? Be it two parts of an apple, three parts of a cake or four parts of an hour. So, fractions are equal parts of a whole. How do we write fractions? Fractions are written in the form of a top number, a numerator and a bottom number or a denominator with a line between them. Numerator by denominator is equal to number of selected parts by number of equal parts in all. Let's recap. Fractions are part of a whole. Fractions mean equal parts of a whole. Fractions are written in the form of a top number or numerator and a bottom number or denominator with a small line between. So, today we discussed the basic idea of fractions. We will learn more about fractions in our other videos. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.